for the simple calculator program we have finished the designing using in our xml file for every button we have associated an id to it which is used for reference in the xml now let us do the coding part now in java that is main activity dot java for every object in my xml we have to create a variable so each of the variable is been recognized to uh, the object that is associated with it now in my java code i have create i need to create a variable called as button and in that button class we have to associate for every button in my xml we are going to create a variable um, in java we are going to create the variables for each of the objects in the xml so we have the buttons for btn1 to 0 then for add we name it as btn add for subtract btn sub mult and div so for and we have a text box edit text box we are going to uh, label that as txt and result okay so instead of me typing i simply copy this where i have the code and i come to android in the main activity for every object which is created in my xml i have labeled each of those variable now here button is a class it is in red color so right click on this button and then click on show context action import the class whenever we import the class the red color goes and here you have imported the class called as import android widgets button similarly we have to import another class for edit text right click show context import the class and the class has been imported so for every variable in my xml we have created one variable of that class and it is associating each of those now the next work that we have to do is i have to link the variable in my java to the xml component which is recognized by that specific id so for that we use the code as btn1 which is a java label which is of button type find view by id r is a reference and this is a library which contains all the resources which are to be given with the reference id in my xml it is btn underscore one because it is a button we have to create an listener and we use the listener as set on click listener and this you as you do in any op, uh, oops programming language it does with reference to this particular class so we are going to associate this part of the code is to reference the java variable to the xml variable id that is created so for every button we are going to use on click listener and then reference with a particular variable in your java so that's what is being done so we simply copy this for every button that is created we are going to have an xml so we come to this on create uh, class and as you can see it is related to r dot layout activity underscore main here is where we have to copy paste the components here okay so this part of code is to link each of my variables from java to xml so we i just copy this and then paste okay so it is ready so we have linked every component in my java to the xml next part of the code is when i click on a button what it has to do so if you if i click a button one number one has to be appended in the text box which is labeled as txt result if you press button 2 two need to be appended similarly for 3 we are trying to append number 3 in your text result so that is what we have to do so we i just copy this for every button that we click 
it has to be appended in the text dot result so plus minus asterisk divide all these are been there and if you press a clear button it has to clear the content in your text result so we are not making any uh, data here we just um, give uh, open and close uh, double quotes there that's all so i just copy this part of code and i paste here next is if i press equal to sign an operation has to be done so the first step is if you are pressing an equal to sign you take the value convert that to a string put it in the data and check in the data if it is a slash if it is slash you have to call a method called as divide which is user defined with the data has to be passed to this function if the data contains star it has to call user defined function multiplication if it is plus sign addition has to be called minus is for doing your uh, subtraction function if you type anything other than that if the data contain other than any of these you have to display a message called as invalid operator and again we are calling an user defined function called as display invalid message now coming to our uh, invalid message toast is a class which is going to help us in defining the message that has been passed as a parameter in your display method so here toast is going to display the message as invalid operator which is passed and will be accepted by mes and it displays the content now if that data what we are passing and you are calling a subtraction function we are going to split the data first separate the operands check whether you have the operands length is of 2 take the first argument put it in operand 1 take the second operand put it in the uh, data type defined as operator 2 result is going to do the subtraction of the two operands and then you are displaying the value here in your text result else if anything is been there and you are unable to do the um, operation on this after splitting we display the message called as invalid input by calling an user defined function called as display invalid message if it is an addition operation on my data been available we have to do the operand plus so if you remember plus symbol and the multiplication symbol are used for your regular expression so we have to use an escape sequence for that escape sequence we are going to give for your data split a class called as pattern dot code which is going to tell us this plus sign use this for doing a mathematical plus addition operation on the two operands so when you compare your subtraction and the um, addition user defined program the only change is in the data split part we just give a symbol for minus here we are going to add the escape sequence for called as pattern dot code and other things remains the same so if you uh, if you get anything other than that we are going to call a user defined function called as display invalid message and invalid input will be displayed similarly for doing your multiplication we call pattern dot code and then multiplication operation is done if it is division simply we call uh, split the data and check whether you have a uh, slash if it is slash do the division operation if you are unable to do it you have to give it as invalid input so here is a very simple set of uh, code so i'll copy the code related to equals to if it is an equal to sign first step is take the data from your txt result convert that to string put it in the data and then call the date uh, divide user defined function else invalid and we are writing the code for each of these user defined function for doing the operation so we copy this code 
So if it is equal to do all these operations. Yes, so we have the string ready. Now here as I said we have called the toast. This toast uh, need to have a class to be imported. So right click here, context, import that class. So here it goes and uh, for pattern also if it is not there, it will be in red. You just have to right click and then import that class. So all the classes are will be available. The code is ready. Now let us run this program. So it's done. It is ready. Now let us check each of these operations. 7 divided by 2. Now I press equal to sign. It is 3.5. I clear this. I uh, do this operation 5 into 2 and we press equal to 10.0 clear 6 minus 2 we press equal to 4.0 clear the screen and lastly 5 into 2 is equal to sorry 5 plus 2 equal to 7.0 so all the basic operation mathematical operations it is giving the result so we can press clear and it clears the screen in this way now the program is correct we have executed the second lab program which is simple calculator